everyone, today I'm back with another K-pop haul. Today's package comes from Amazon.com, and I have to say I'm not a super big fan of the packaging. Um, there's three albums in here, and they're just kind of thrown in this large bubble envelope. Which, I'm fine with bubble envelopes for like one or two albums, but for three, I feel like they should have been in a box or something. I don't know, I think my bigger issue is that I watched the mailman literally cram this package into our small mailbox. And I was just like, really dude, you couldn't have taken two minutes to get out of your car and leave this on the doorstep or whatever? I'm hoping nothing will be damaged or anything, because I'm sorry, but this big of a package does not naturally fit in the mailbox and should not have been crammed in there. But that's not Amazon's fault, that's the mail delivery guy. But nothing seems to be damaged, luckily. Although one thing that is a bit of a bummer, I do believe that the albums were advertised on Amazon as having the posters with them. They do not have posters. Which is understandable because it has been a while since the albums came out, so the first press posters are probably gone. But you, you want to update your listing if the posters no longer come with it. And taped on the back of each of the albums was a free gift set, which appears to be the same for all three, so I'm just going to take a look at one of them. Um, we have a Seventeen themed hand mirror, and then a set of fan made photo cards. Okay, so they're double sided, but it's the same image on both sides. do much with freebies like that so I'll probably either include them with trades that I mail out or give them to some of my friends. As you might can guess from those freebies, the three albums that I have today are the three versions of Seventeen's most recent mini album, Alone. Alone, 01, AL103, and All13. And I know there's plenty of unboxings for these already but I haven't taken a look at the unboxings. Um, I watched a little bit of one just to kind of see what the photo cards looked like, but I didn't really look at the pictures in the album. We're going to look at these in order, so the first version we're going to take a look at is Alone 01. So on the cover here we have one of the members' hands holding, I think those are their 17 rings? Some of them anyway. And on the back we have more of the rings, as well as the distribution and copyright information. And on the side, we have 17, fourth mini album, 01, alone. Interestingly, there's not a track listing anywhere on the outer packaging, so I assume one will be on the inside. Inside, we can see that the main cover art is a jacket, um, and the jacket is blank on the inside. I was wondering if it might have random member images like New East's Rebirth, but no, it's just blank. And then the album itself is hardcover, alone, 17, 01. Oh, that's pretty. We've got something written here. I look back and recall those who've passed me by. Some wandered and drifted, some hung around a bit to see, and some stayed to learn of each other. That's really deep, and I really like the handwriting. That's a neat little detail. Then inside, we've got 17 alone. On the left, we have the CD. They did do random member plates for this album. My biases in Seventeen are Jungon and Vernon, and then Sunquan is my third bias and Hoshi is my fourth bias. So I'm hoping to get Vernon and Jungon for two of my plates, and then it'd be cool if the other one would be Sunquan or Hoshi, but I don't really collect CD plates, so I'm not really bothered if it's not any of those. Looks like I got Joshua. Okay, does it say on there who it is, or am I just going to have to guess? Okay, it doesn't say who it is. To me, it looks like Joshua, but it also kind of doesn't. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of a weird picture, but I'm going to guess it's Joshua. If I'm wrong, I'm sure y'all will yell at me in the comments. That's a joke, by the way. I mean yell with love. And then there's also a regular photo card and a postcard, I do believe, that are supposed to be in here, too. 
Okay, so on the first page we have a 1, 17. I believe that's the same writing from the back. And then a list of the members' names. S. Koops, Mingyu, Vernon, Wanwu, Jun, Hoshi, Dino, the 8, Jungon, Woozy, Sinquan, Joshua, DK. And those are listed by their units. Hip-hop unit, then performance unit, and then vocal unit. So first we have pictures of S. Koops. And the pages feel kind of matte. There seems to be a trend lately is matte pages in photo books. We have Mingyu. So it appears that the pictures are going in the order from that list. Vernon. Oh, that's nice. I really like that sweater. Oh! Photo cards already. Okay. So for my photo card for this version, I got the eight... The 8 is very cute, but he's not one of my biases. Oh! That's interesting. I didn't know they had other pictures on the back of the photo cards. So I'm assuming, what, did they do what BAP did with uh, Noir and like all the photo cards together make a puzzle? Mm. Not a huge fan of that. But now I understand why the member name is written on the front instead of the back. But yeah, the 8 will be up for trade for Vernon or Jungon. As much as I like the 8, I do not collect him, and I'm trying to really limit my collection. Okay, then we have the advertisement, the photo, which I'm saving for last, and what is this? Stickers. Wow, a lot of people are including stickers lately, too. Interesting. They're also all white, like those Monster X ones, so it's hard to see what they were. Okay. And whose postcard did I get? I know the photo cards are different for each version. I'm not sure if the postcards are two or if the postcards are all the same. But for the postcard... Oh, yes! I got jung on for the postcard. So that's pretty cool, because jung on is my number one bias in Seventeen, and he is one of the two members I collect, so I'm happy. So I've got one of his things. And on the back we have um, some writing. It looks like it's the writing from the back of this one. And then two more phrases, which I'm guessing will be on the back of the other two versions. It's really small print on this, though, so I'm having trouble reading it. At times, someone takes leave before I realize they are the one I need. But then again, others breathe in. Will you pass by or stay? That's kind of really deep. I like that. And of course, Platt's advertisement. Then we have Wan Wu in the photo book. I must say, I'm normally not a big fan of black and white shots, but I, I like the way they're done here. I think they work well with this photo book. Okay. I was confused for a minute because I didn't see June's name right there in tiny white letters. I was like, that looks like June, but it didn't say we changed. But it did. I just missed it. That's a really, like, out of focus shot of June. It, you can't really tell on camera, but it is. So is that one. Come on, Pledis photographers. Why is June out of focus here? Hoshi. Oh, I love his eye makeup. It's, it's take me back to my emo days, man. I love it. That heavy eyeliner. Dino. Looking very grown up. All the magnets are getting so mature lately, and I don't know how to handle it. I keep seeing them as, like, cute kids in my mind, and they're not kids anymore. <laughs> then we have 
I think this is the eight, but I didn't see his name. Did I miss it again? No. Yeah, we switched to Ming Hao, but where was where was Ming Hao's name? Huh. Interesting. Then we have Zheng Han. It took me a while to get used to his short blonde hair, but I do like it. It's not my favorite hairstyle on him, but he does look very handsome. Oh, that's a cool shot, the upside down one. Woozy. Look at his bright green hair. And we have Sun Quan. And Joshua. DK. Oh, that's a pretty picture. All the flowers. And then we have Banks Twos on the side there. Okay, I was about to say, do we not get lyrics? But no, here are the lyrics. And the songs are... There's six songs on the digital version, eight on the physical CD. We have Don't Wanna Cry, the title track. Habit, the vocal unit song. If I, which is the hip-hop unit song. Swimming Fool, which is the performance unit song. My Eye, which is a unit song by The Eight and June. Crazy in Love. Who, which is another performance unit song. And then Check In which is a remastered version of a hip-hop unit mixtape song. And we have the credits on the back. And that's it for that version. The next version we're going to take a look at is AL103. So on the front cover, we have seven of the members. And on the back, I'm guessing we'll have the other ones. The other six on the back. And on the side, it just says 17, fourth mini album 03, AL1. Inside. Ooh, this one's gray on the inside. The last one is black. And as I suspected, we have the second phrase from the postcard on the back here. So I'm guessing the postcards will be the same for all three, since they have the phrases from all three versions. CD plate first. Let's see. Looks like I got a different one. I did. I got woozy. So I'm not having great luck with the CD plates, but I don't really care for CD plates, so I'm not bothered about it. I'd rather have good luck for photo cards and postcards. Speaking of photo cards and postcards, they're right there on the next page. I was not expecting that. And speaking of good luck, I got Vernon's card. And yeah, it does look like they're doing the puzzle thing. Not a big fan of that. But I do like that they returned to the Polaroid style. So, yay, I'm happy for that. And we've got the stickers. These ones are silver. The first ones were white. Pledis advertisement, and then the postcard. Okay, so I got June for the postcard this time. Not quite as good of a pull. But so far I'm doing fairly good, getting one one thing that is one of my biases and then one thing that isn't for both albums. So on the first page we've got the member names again, 17, and then that phrase from the back. The names are in a different order on this one. So I'm guessing the photos will be in a different order. This one looks like we got vocal unit first, then performance unit, and then hip hop unit. So kind of a reverse from the last one. And sure enough, first page, we have Jung on. Starting things off well. Why is he hiding under the table? And the unfocused... Is that Woozy? Who is that? 
someone in the background. What is, what is marshmallow? Ma is that, is that frosted flakes with marshmallows? Is that a thing they have in Korea? I did not know that existed. My mind has been blown. Yes, I'm focusing on the cereal rather than, <laughs> rather than my bias. I'm a good person. Okay, yeah, it was Lucy. I was a little confused because his hair was blonde and it was green in the other one, but it must have been before he dyed it green. Okay, so we have all the vocal unit together. Woozy. Oh, I like that picture. Gosh, was so pretty. And Sun Kwan's smile. So cute. I like how there's like a totally different mood between the two albums. The first one felt very moody and this one feels a lot happier. Because they were all like completely isolated in the first one and here they're all together. Sun Kwan. Okay, he's still looking kind of moody. I take that back. <laughs> Joshua. That is a beautiful picture. Wow, that eye makeup. Flawless. Also, I like the colors in this version a lot, too. The first one with the black and white stuff was very muted. Do not put your foot on the sink, DK. That's very unhygienic. More feet, apparently. Oh, and now I have the performance unit. They're in a completely different set. We have June and the red shirt. Hoshi. Oh, I like Hoshi's outfit. Mink Calendino. The eight. I've never seen it or read it, but his shirt kind of reminds me of a clockwork orange. <laughs> what? Is, what is going on there? That is a really striking picture of the eight. Ooh. Is that a real tattoo or a fake tattoo? Forgive me. I should know that, but I don't. But that's really cool with the eight infinity tattoo and the earring also is an eight. That's cool. Is she... Yeah, I like this photo shoot. So far, I definitely prefer this version to the first version. So we have the performance unit. I think, weren't the pictures to this shot in LA? I feel like I remember reading that. We have S. Coops. Vernon. Juan Wu. Oh, that's a pretty picture. Mingyu. I like Scoop's hair like that a lot. It's very pretty. And here we have unit things twos. The lyrics again. 
and the credits. And that's it for that version. And last but not least, we have all 13. The front cover for this one has all 13 members. And the back is just a background shot. The design on the side, pretty much the same as the other three, just different words, all 13. Inside, the inside of this one is like a cream off-white color. While the hardcover book itself is like a really pretty navy with the lettering in gold. That's really pretty. And then on the back, will you pass by or stay? Okay. CD plate. Yeah, I did terrible with the CD plates. I didn't get any of my biases. I think that might be Mingyu. I'm, I'm terrible at recognizing people in black and white is what it is. Color pictures, I can tell. Black and white, not so much. So here we have 01, 17, S. Coops, Wanwu, Vernon, Mingyu, Hoshi, Dino, the 8, June, Jungon, Sungwan, DK, Woozy, Joshua, which is similar to the first one, but I think the names are in a slightly different order. And at the bottom, will you pass by or stay? So to start, we have S. Coops. Looks like these pictures may have all been taken on a beach. Wanwu. Vernon. Mingyu. Hoshi. Oh, that's a cute picture. Dino. Group photo. That is actually the cover for the AL103 version, interestingly. The 8. Why is the 8 wearing a shirt that says adult video? Excuse you. Okay, I can see where the photo cards are, so I'm going to take them out so I can keep the surprise till the end. June. Hey, that's the picture from the postcard. Jungan, which I think that might be the picture from his postcard. Yes, it is. So it looks like the postcard pictures came from this version. He looks really handsome in that outfit. Oh, that's a really handsome picture. Sun Kwan. Oh, that cute smile. Group photo. DK. Woozy. With his neon green hair again. Joshua. Oh, I love that picture of Jung An and Sun Kwan. Seventeen thanks, Jews. And the lyrics once again. Credits. And that's the end. Okay. So now let's take a look at my postcard and photo card. 
So first we have the stickers once again. These ones are in gold. And the postcard. We got DK. So DK in June, I will be either selling or trading for Vernon's postcard. Plus advertisement, and then the photo card. Moment of truth. I got Hoshi. Hoshi is my fourth bias, but I'm really trying to limit my collection to just Vernon and Jungon. So Hoshi and the eight cards will be up for trade to Vernon or Jungon, or for sale. And yeah, you can see that the corners of this version got crushed, probably from the mailman just shoving it carelessly into the mailbox. So overall, I mean, I did all right with my pulls today. I got Jungon's postcard and one of Vernon's photo cards. But that still leaves me with one other postcard and five photo cards that I would like to add to my collection. I have to say, after looking at all three photo books, my favorite by far is the AL103 photo book. I just like that concept the best. And honestly, if it hadn't been for the photo cards being different for each version, I probably would have just got the AL103 version. But I'm still glad that I was able to support Seventeen and add all three to my collection. The album itself is really, really good. I genuinely enjoy all of the songs. And I definitely think it's worth picking up at least one physical copy so you can get the bonus tracks that aren't available digitally. But that's it for today's K-pop haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more unboxings or K-pop hauls like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.